Hello, you guys. It's Lauren. Welcome to my channel for the love of you guys. Today, I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of a different video today, so I'm going to jump right into it. I was gifted some really nice goodies uh, from joyfulhome.ca. So a local, a local small business here in the candle slash wax community. They reached out to me, wanted to send me some goodies. I was so impressed with not even the quantity of what they sent me, but you guys, the, the quality of the fragrances on these. I was so impressed while I was kind of smelling them and, and looking over them. I, I had to do a, um, a full-on video for you guys. So they wound up gifting me a Darling Warmer. And then what's more exciting, I got some mini candles and then actually some wax melts, a beautiful, beautiful variety of wax melts. So I wanted to haul those for you guys. Before I get into the video, I do want to mention, if you are interested in any of the products I'm talking about on here today or any of the other goodies that they have, you can use my promo code so you guys are going to get 15% off. So anything from joyfulhome.ca, if you use my promo code for the love of, all one word, you guys are going to get 15% off. So that was so sweet of them. I didn't even expect them to do that. I just am always open to trying products. If anyone wants to send me anything, I'm all about supporting kind of local businesses. So that's fantastic that they were willing to do that. Again, I'm not like affiliated with them in any way. It's just a small business that wanted me to try their stuff and I wanted to share it with you guys. So without further ado, you guys, let's jump into the unboxing. All right, and before I dive into my haul of all my beautiful goodies here, keep in mind, I will put in the description of my video that promotional code, and I'll also put their website um, in, in my description as well. If you're curious and want to see me hauling just the candles, check the description of my video. I'll have it timestamped. If you want to see me hauling wax melts, check the description of my video. I'll have it timestamped, and I'll also have all of their information in the description as well. The first thing they wound up sending me, and this is fantastic because you guys, I, I've i always wanted one of these, but I've just never pulled the trigger and got one. So this is fantastic because I can use the products they sent me um, actually in, in this warmer. So this is a convertible warmer. It's a two-in-one. It melts both wax and candles. The style that they wound up sending me, and this one's really pretty. I love the um, I love the style. This will obviously go with all of my neutral shades and golds that I have going. It's called Vintage White, but it actually is more of a white with a little bit of like a, a beige slash kind of gold harvest detailing around it. Very, very pretty. I have a miniature one of these from Yankee, but it's just plain white. Um, not nearly as, as cute, and I don't think the base is anywhere near as big as this one. So this is absolutely perfect, and I can't wait to try this out. I would imagine that they have a different variety of warmers and uh, wax warmers and convertible warmers on their website if you guys are interested. So that's the warmer right there. All right, and the first one up, of course, was the Red Merlot. Now, I'm not a huge fan of wine um, or whiny, overly boozy scents. But to me, this one is definitely a burn, something I would absolutely use. It doesn't come across super artificial, like say Bath and Body Works, um, Black Cherry Merlot. This just really smells like a true red, almost like cherry or grape rind. Um, you almost get a little bit of like that oak or some sort of kind of aged oak or aged wood. This reminds me of Bath and Body Works wine cellar. Maybe not as intense, but in the same scent family. Definitely a fall burn, a very rich fragrance. I was just so surprised at kind of the, the quality and just the, the genuine fragrance. It does not smell artificial at all. This really does smell like if you opened up a bottle of a beautiful Red Merlot. Um, very nice fragrance. Again, I haven't burned any of these, but just on cold, it's very, very fragrant. So that was the Red Merlot right there. Next up, you guys are going to be surprised at this. But one of my favorites is actually the margarita. Uh, I don't typically burn like lime type scents or super tropically fruity scents. But you guys, I love a good citrus. And this smells like an actual margarita. Um, you also kind of get that fresh, very, very realistic like lime rind. Um, a little bit of like a salt action going on. This one's amazing. Um, this would pair nicely with most any citrus fragrance if you had lemon going or any other citrus scent. To me, this smells much more realistic and not as artificial as say um, like Bath and Body Works, what is it, Island Margarita. Um, if you like that scent, I really 
think you'll enjoy this one. This is just a little more sophisticated version. You really get that lime rind. Um, very, very pretty. This is one I'm going to save for the summertime. And that was the margarita. All right. And next up's Pina Colada. If you're a summer fragrance fan and you like those pineapple-y, coconutty type scents, get this one. <laughs> it smells, it smells really good. If I liked, um, pineapple, coconut type scents, I can see this being kind of a go-to. It has a very smooth coconut. It's not fake, not artificial at all. Almost like a coconut with like a coconut milk is kind of what I'm getting. Um, I'm not sure if there's actually pineapple in the notes on this one. It kind of is heavier on the kind of coconut side than anything else. Maybe a little bit of sweetness. Very pretty scent. If you like those tropically fruity fragrances, I do think you'll like this one. Again, I'm just not a big coconut fan, but if you like straight coconut tropically scents, definitely check out this one. And that was the Pina Colada. Next up, another one of my favorites out of this collection is the Pink Champagne. Again, cute kind of two-toned wax on this one. This is a little more muted than the rest has a little bit of a smoothness, not overly effervescent, but a little bit of a brightness. I don't quite know what is in this one. Um, I almost wanna say like champagne and grapefruit maybe, but it almost has a bit of a, I wanna say body care type note, almost like a bit of a warm, smooth perfume kind of action going on. This one's really, really pretty. Of, of the six, it's one of the lighter ones, but the fragrance itself is very, very pretty. I would be curious to see what the notes are on this one, but this one's definitely a uh, burn for me. This is probably one of the first ones I will try, and that is the pink champagne. Last but certainly not least, we have Smooth Bourbon. What a nice little addition to this collection. I was worried this was going to be overly boozy and like maybe overly oak-y, but this is just a beautiful scent. Um, smooth, creamy, not super strong or over the top, but it's got this really kind of deep heaviness to it as well. This is one that I would probably, again, burn in the fall. Uh, the thing I like about this collection is it has a nice variety, whereas like the Merlot, the Bourbon, the Pink Champagne, probably ones you would maybe burn like in the kind of fall months, cooler months. And then they included some of the summery kind of fruity type fragrances you can burn in spring and summer. I think that's fantastic. Um, the Smooth Bourbon, this is one I might actually wind up gifting as well. I like that they included something that wasn't super fruity, kind of a nice variety. This is actually another one of my favorites of this collection. So that was the Smooth Bourbon right there. All right, and we have one more box to get through. So I already showed you the warmer, the candles, and then this is my, like, my favorite part of this haul, you guys. She gave me so many wax melts. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to haul them all for you guys, but I'm going to show you my top three favorites, and then I will show you all the other scents that she gave me. I'm assuming she has a huge variety of other fragrances available on her website, but um, this was actually what made me want to do the haul in video form for you because I was just so happy with the quality of the fragrance. So let me unbox these and I'll show you what I got. All right, you guys. So we have some wax melts right here. I'm going to show you my top three favorites. I will haul all the other ones for you, um, but let me show you what I got. And before I dive into some of my favorites here, I will mention I did not get a price breakdown from this vendor. Um, they did offer me that promotional code, as I said, is in the description. So what I'll do is I will reach out to them to see if they have price points that they want me to share. Um, if I'm not able to get those, I would just definitely check their website. They are, of course, available on their website, which I'll leave in the description. And then also you can find them on Instagram. So I just wanted to mention that. That's why I'm not giving prices as I go through these. I just was not given a price breakdown. All right, getting back into the goodies. This is Northern Blueberries. So these are all clamshells, of course, 100% soy wax. I do like the actual clamshell itself. Um, you can't see it through the screen, but it's very sturdy. So classic clamshell, no inlets or anything like that. But you guys, the fragrance on this, and I posted this on Instagram, this is the most authentic blueberry fragrance I have ever smelt in wax form, candle form, any form, ever hands down. Last summer, I was on a quest to try to find like a really good blueberry scent. Um, Kringle came really close with their blueberry crumble. Um, Goose Creek has had a couple of them. And you know, I've tried other vendor wax and things like that. This is the most authentic, just straight 
blueberry scent. It smells like if you go to the store and you get a nice little pint of blueberries, that is what this is. Now again, I haven't melted this down, but I will wind up doing Instagram follow-ups as I try these. This is definitely one I'm gonna use this spring and summer, because right now it works out perfect because I'm burning all my blueberry and strawberry fragrances. So this is, this is going to be a repurchase for me. So that's the Northern Blueberries right there, one of my favorites of the ones that she sent me. Another one of my favorites, you guys, coffee lovers. You guys, this is dark roast coffee. It is so good. This one is amazing. Um, it's just, again, it's just authentic. Um, it, it does have like a deep, dark coffee fragrance. It's not quite espresso, but it's like a rich, bold blend. Um, this is one I'm gonna save for the fall. I think this would pair well with literally any other kind of fall bakery pumpkin type scent. If you're a coffee fan, check this one out. Um, I was again very impressed with just how authentic this smells. It just smells like a deep rich roast of a fresh cup of coffee. Um, again, this one's probably going to be very, very strong. I'll do Instagram follow-ups as I try them. So that was the dark roast coffee. All right. And another one of my absolute favorites, and this might kind of surprise you guys, but again, I just love it because it's so authentic. Grape expectation. Um, so those of you that are like wine fragrance lovers out there, um, grape type lovers out there, this to me, <laughs> this smells just like grape, but it has like, um, it's like an artificial grape, but on purpose. If you guys remember the old school, like bubblicious grape gum had that very distinct grape fragrance, not grape juice, not like sickeningly sweet grape juice, but like real grape bubble gum. That's what this smells like. Um, I don't know when I would burn this or melt this. It's just such like a cool kind of novelty type fragrance. I feel like if I had little ones or kiddos and they had like, I don't know, like a wax warmer in their room, um, they might like this. It's just very unique. I can't also see kind of the side where you could blend this with maybe some wine fragrances. It's just a grape, a grape scent. So that is the grape expectations right there. All right, and then my very last absolute favorite, favorite out of this collection, Canadian maple syrup. Um, just again, very authentic, kind of has that rich kind of syrupy fragrance with a little bit of that kind of maple sugar action. It kind of reminds me of the uh, maple sugar candies. I used to get those as a kid. It's uh, again, just a really authentic scent. This is one I'm going to use probably again in the fall. It doesn't seem the strongest of the bunch on cold. Again, I don't know if I would want a maple scent to be insanely strong. I feel like this is going to be a really good layering scent for the fall. You could use it with pumpkin, cinnamon, most any other gourmand scent. So that is the Canadian maple syrup right there. All right, and I have four more fragrances here that I did wind up getting gift. So one is the Mango Tango, just a very fruity, summery, um, almost Camu Camu-esque, not quite, but maybe a little more mango type fragrance. Again, very authentic. Another one, I should have just included this in my favorites, but this is birthday cake. A very authentic, kind of just almost vanilla, cakey, battery type fragrance. Not the strongest on cold. Um, again, it's like a vanilla based scent, so those aren't always the strongest, but it smells very authentic. So that's the birthday cake right there. Another one that I was very impressed with watermelon slushy. So I'm not like a huge watermelon scent fan, um, but for whatever reason, I always loved Yankee Candle. They had a watermelon one. I don't remember if it was just watermelon, but watermelon's a very hard fragrance to kind of like replicate so it doesn't smell fake. This smells like a real, like you cut open a watermelon, like a real watermelon scent and you like put it on ice or blended it up. So that's the watermelon slushy. So my watermelon fans out there, definitely check this one out. And last but certainly not least, strawberries and cream. I plan to use this one this season, just a traditional strawberry and cream scent. Um, the strawberry in this one to me was a tad artificial, which I was surprised by because every other one was very, very spot on. Um, I'm not sure if it's the cream note or the cream action that's going on, but again, very nice fragrance. It almost reminds me of um, Victoria's Secret used to have like a strawberries and cream or a strawberries and champagne kind of body care. It kind of reminds me of that strawberry cream blend. 
So any of you who are fans of that fragrance, you might want to check out the strawberries and cream. All right, and that, that concludes all the goodies sent to me from joyfulhome.ca. Again, big, big thank you to them. If you guys have used any of the fragrances from Joyful Home, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what ones your favorites are. Again, this is a new vendor to me and I'm very happy to be trying them out. So let me know if you guys have any favorites from them or just let me know what you're burning right now. Before I sign off, I want to mention that I'm on Instagram. So if you're on there, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of upcoming videos, purchases, hauls, vendor wax. I'll be doing some follow-ups on my wax on there. So if you're on there, come find me. As always, thank you again for taking the time out of your day to watch this haul. I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, an awesome start to the spring season. Finally, some nicer weather whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later.